Mr. Bowlby here. I wanted to share a fun activity you could do at home with your family on your free time here. Yeah, we have a lot of extra time at home. This is called the alphabet book. Now you can do this with any state. I live in Oklahoma, so I did it in Oklahoma. So it's the Oklahoma alphabet book. For all the letters in the alphabet from A to Z, you pick a different location or something interesting about your state and you draw a picture and write a sentence about it. So I'll show you mine. Oklahoma's alphabet book, this will give you an example of what you can do. The first one is A, the Admiral Twin Drive-In Historic Movie Theater along Route 66. You see I drew a big picture of all those little cars looking at a movie, and of course the movie is playing some kind of dinosaur flick, of course, because that's me. B, Buffalo Herds Rome on the tall grass prairie in Pahuska, thousands of free range wildlife. So that, up in Pahuska, you can go up there and go to a place called Little Rock and it has a bunch of really, really cool animals to see. Number C, letter C, C number. C, Katusa, Blue Whale, waterfront structure attraction on Old Route 66. And there's my drawing of the Blue Whale. If you've ever been to the Katusa Blue Whale, you can tell that this is definitely not the best drawing of it ever, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not about how good it is. Now, uh, here's one I taught recently to my third graders. Dust Bowl, 1930 severe dust storm greatly damaged the ecology and agriculture. Something about the current times of events that we're going through right now sort of remind me of those days, even though I wasn't alive. Just the comparison is interesting. E, Eskimo Joe's is an icon of Oklahoma. The restaurant opened in 1987 in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Again, not my best drawing of a dog. That's okay. <laughs> football. F is for football. Football season is always a party in Oklahoma, whether you are a cowboy or a Sooner. G is for Garth Brooks singer and songwriter with over 190 million records sold. Probably more than that by now. Wrote this thing back in 2014. He is a beloved Oklahoma country singer. H is for Harold Keith, was a Newberry Medal author born and raised in Oklahoma. So that means he wrote some really good books. A lot of authors from Oklahoma, a lot of actors from Oklahoma too. I is for ice storms, like the winter of 2007, causing widespread damage. We did not like that ice storm. Of course, my third graders are like, we weren't alive yet. <laughs> Jim Thorpe, one of the greatest athletes of the 20th century. K is for the Kimachi Mountains, forgive me for mispronouncing that, Kimachi Mountains in southeastern Oklahoma known for their natural springs and scenery. Basically decided to use every color I could find. <laughs> L is for the Little Sahara. A tourist, should be a tourist attraction, but okay. A tourist location with over 1,600 acres of sand dunes to enjoy. Little Sahara. All of these things can be found in Oklahoma. So it's pretty neat when you start looking at different things to find in your own state, what kind of things you'll find. Maria Tallchief was considered America's first prima ballerina and the first Native American to hold the rank. So M is for Maria Tallchief. It's awesome. N is for nursing education in Oklahoma is one of the best in the country. At the turn of the century, there has been 30,948 licensed registered nurses. I happen to know a few really good ones, too. <laughs> and see, each of the pictures on there you know, is also helps demonstrate what the letter is, too. O is for oil field culture. Oklahoma is a major pro petroleum producer in the country. P is for Pioneer Woman Statue and Museum dedicated to the heroic character of women who all braved the hardships of daily pioneer life. I 
And you had to make your own butter, and bread, and clothes, and all that stuff. Find your own source of toilet paper. Q is for Quick Trip. Quick Trip is a Tulsa-based chain of convenience stores open since 1958. R is for Route 66. Route 66 is known as America's Main Street. The road stretches through Oklahoma and is an important part of our history. I actually think I did a pretty good job on the America continent there. <laughs> State Fair of Oklahoma. So S is for the State Fair. Of course it is. Family fun, including rides, games, and famous foods. All sorts of interesting kinds of foods to eat there. T is for tornadoes. My children don't appreciate that, but oh well. Tornadoes remind us to always be safe, well prepared, and be a good neighbor. U is for the USS Oklahoma. Sunk at Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941 in World War II. It is a reminder of the brave fighters of freedom. V is for Venita. Venita, established in 1871 and the first city in Oklahoma to have electricity. It is named after a sculptor who, whose works stand in Washington, D.C. It's pretty cool. W is, of course, for Will Rogers. Will Rogers was a famous star of the 1920s and 1930s. He was a famous Native American cowboy, performer, commentator, actor, and a friend to all. He never met a man he didn't like. X, <laughs> it's hard to get an X. Explosion baseball. Oklahoma always enjoys getting outside and playing baseball. Y is for yield. This is pretty cool. The first yield sign installed in the U.S. was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A police officer named Clinton Riggs invented the sign to go with the known yield rule. So they knew about the rule, but there was not a sign yet. So he made the sign. Originally, it looked like that, and it eventually progressed. You learn a lot of history when you're doing this kind of a project. It's pretty neat. Z is for zebra. The zebra mascot of Claremore Public Schools. The colors for pride are red and white. So that is mine. Feel free to make yours and share it. I think it'd be kind of a fun activity for you to do at home. Thank you. Have a good day.